BrainWise presents Grade 4 Math Quiz B Part 3 Let's get those math brains warmed up. Easy questions first. Solve them mentally or grab a pen. Your choice. Let's go! Easy round. Number one. A baseball team gave away free hats to some of the fans that attended the game. There were around 2,700 people at the game, and around one-fifth of the fans did not get hats. How many fans did get hats? Again. A baseball team gave away free hats to some of the fans that attended the game. There were around 2,700 people at the game, and around one-fifth of the fans did not get hats. How many fans did get hats? A. 2,140 B. 2,130 C. 2,030 D. 2,160 The correct answer is D. 2,160 Number 2. Dion buys 6 comic books every week. If Dion has 72 comic books, how many weeks has he been buying them? Again, Dion buys 6 comic books every week. If Dion has 72 comic books, how many weeks has he been buying them? A. 11 weeks B. 12 weeks C. 13 weeks E. 14 weeks The correct answer is B. 12 weeks. Number 3. Write an equivalent fraction for 7 ninths. Again, write an equivalent fraction for 7 ninths. A. 7 ninths. B. 8 ninths. C. 14 ninths. D. 14 eighteenths. The correct answer is D. 14 eighteenths. Number 4. Westberg Bookstore received one third of its book order. The next day, it received one sixth of its book order. How much of the book order does the bookstore have? Again, Westberg Bookstore received one third of its book order. The next day, it received one sixth of its book order. How much of the book order does the bookstore have? A. Two thirds. B. One half. C. Two fifths. D. One sixth. The correct answer is B. One half. Number five. Amber is making seven necklaces. Each necklace needs six eighths yard of string. How much string does Amber need for all seven necklaces? Again, Amber is making seven necklaces. Each necklace needs six eighths yard of string. How much string does Amber need for all seven necklaces? A, five and one eighth. B, five and one quarter. C, five. D, four and six eighths. The correct answer is B, five and one quarter. Nailed those first few. Fantastic. Get ready, things are about to get real. Average round. Number one. It takes Scott five and three eighths days to make a birdhouse and eight and one quarter days to make a picnic table. How many days will it take Scott to make both the birdhouse and the picnic table? Again, 
It takes Scott five and three eighths days to make a birdhouse and eight and one quarter days to make a picnic table. How many days will it take Scott to make both the birdhouse and the picnic table? A, 13 and five eighths days. B, three and six eighths days. C, 10 eighths days. D, 13 days. The correct answer is A. 13 and 5 eighths days. Number 2. A single serving of gelatin dessert requires 3 quarters cup of sugar. How much sugar is needed for 7 servings? Again, a single serving of gelatin dessert requires 3 quarters cup of sugar. How much sugar is needed for 7 servings? A. 6 quarters. B, five, C, one quarter, D, five and one quarter. The correct answer is D. Five and one quarter. Number three. Wayne bought a piece of land to build on. It is shaped like a rectangle and has a perimeter of 120 yards. One side of the property is 20 yards long. What is the area of the property? Again, Wayne bought a piece of land to build on. It is shaped like a rectangle and has a perimeter of 120 yards. One side of the property is 20 yards long. What is the area of the property? A. 400 square yard. B. 1400 a square yard. C. 800 a square yard. D. 500 square yard. The correct answer is C. 800 square yard. Number 4. The bakery has 4 trays of cookies with 12 cookies on each tray. They also have 3 trays of muffins with 8 muffins per tray. If they sell 1 third of the cookies and 1 quarter of the muffins, how many baked goods are left in total? Again. The bakery has four trays of cookies with 12 cookies on each tray. They also have three trays of muffins with eight muffins per tray. If they sell one third of the cookies and one quarter of the muffins, how many baked goods are left in total? A, 50. B, 58. C, 62. D, 70. The correct answer is A, 50. Number five. What is the missing number in this pattern? Three, eight, 18, 38, blank. Again, what is the missing number in this pattern? Three, eight, 18, 38, blank. A, 68, B, 78, C, 88, D, 98. The correct answer is B, 78.
crushing it so far. Think you can handle what's next? This is where legends are made. Bring it on. Difficult round. Number one. A farmer has five apple trees, each with 20 apples. He also has three pear trees. Each pear tree has five fewer pears than an apple tree. If he picks one fifth of the apples and one half of the pears, how many fruits are left on the trees in total? Again, a farmer has five apple trees, each with 20 apples. He also has three pear trees. Each pear tree has five fewer pears than an apple tree. If he picks one fifth of the apples and one half of the pears, how many fruits are left on the trees in total? A. 98 B. 103 C. 115 D. 123 Correct answer is B 103. Number 2. What is the missing number in this pattern? 2, 5, 14, 41, 122, blank. Again, what is the missing number in this pattern? 2, 5, 14, 41, 122, blank. A 245. B. 365 C. 375 D. 485 Correct answer is B365. Number 3. A magical tree grows in a peculiar way. Every day it grows 5 centimeters taller, but then a mischievous gnome comes along and cuts off 2 centimeters. If the tree is currently 17 centimeters tall, how many days will it take for the tree to reach 37 centimeters? Again, a magical tree grows in a peculiar way. Every day, it grows 5 centimeters taller, but then a mischievous gnome comes along and cuts off 2 centimeters. If the tree is currently 17 centimeters tall, how many days will it take for the tree to reach 37 centimeters? A. 5 days B. 6 days C. 7 days D. 8 days Correct answer is C, seven days. Number four, Farmer John has some chickens and pigs on his farm. He counts a total of 22 legs and eight heads. How many chickens and how many pigs does he have? Again, Farmer John has some chickens and pigs on his farm. He counts a total of 22 legs and eight heads. How many chickens and how many pigs does he have? A. 4 chickens, 4 pigs B. 5 chickens, 3 pigs C. 6 chickens, 2 pigs D. 7 chickens, 1 pig
correct answer is B. Five chickens, three pigs. Number five. A treasure chest has a secret code to unlock it. The code is a two digit number. The tens digit is three more than the units digit and the sum of the digits is 11. Can you crack the code? Again, a treasure chest has a secret code to unlock it. The code is a two digit number. The tens digit is three more than the units digit and the sum of the digits is 11. Can you crack the code? A, 65. B, 56. C, 74. D, 47. The correct answer is C, 74. That's a wrap. No matter your score, keep learning and growing. Share your score, challenge your friends, and let's spread the math love. Did you enjoy the quiz? What's your score? Comment it below. If you want more of these content, leave a like and share this with your friends. You may subscribe to the channel as well. Check out other videos from BrainWise.